Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I've got some pretty interesting news today. We've had a lot of progression in the last few weeks and uh, I'm really excited to show it with you guys. So as you can see, um, this is my Mimesia Teperi setup and uh, the queen just walked to the left there. You can see the queen there foraging. And you might have noticed uh, she's got just two larvae now. And if you remember, this queen had a pupae last time. That means, as you can see there, I have my first ever enchant worker, or Mimesia species. You can see the uh, worker is much smaller than the queen. How awesome is that? As you can see, she's got two larvae there, and then there's another hiding up against the cotton. That is awesome. Also, um, how weird is the uh, purple colour on the test tube? That's like mould or algae, so I'll have to switch that one out for a new one, because uh, it's not good for their health as well. But it's not getting too bad, so I'm not overly fussed with it right now. But that is really cool. Alright, on to the next exciting news. Here I have my Jewel Queen Fidole species. The exciting news for this colony is just in the top right there of the screen, or just in the cotton side of the test tube, we have two mages. Uh, you might be able to see them there. So I was right about those larvae being mages. You can see they have turned into uh, the mages just sitting on the roof up there. That's awesome, and it looks like we've got even more coming along. You can see just to the right of the queen there, there's some uh, more major pupae. I mean, uh, larvae, sorry. And just a mountain of regular brood. That's crazy. Also, I believe uh, the population has dropped off a bit. Their graveyard, their pile of rubbish, has a... Uh, is much bigger now and there's a few workers missing which is expected um, but you can see there's so much more coming so I'm expecting a massive increase in population so uh, that'll be awesome I'm very excited about uh, all this new stuff happening majors and first workers that's awesome it's good to see and here is the Campanotus species that uh, you guys saw their test tube uh, leaked, I believe, and uh, they all got flooded out. And here they are, moved into their setup, into the uh, formicarium. Um, it actually looks like a still image, but believe it or not, um, yeah, they're just that still. It's amazing. It's not even that cool today. It's like probably 25 degrees Celsius, and uh, they're just still. So that's really cool. We get to see him uh, in a really nice setup. You guys can see clearly through the uh, screen there, through the uh, acrylic, um, and they look pretty happy with this setup. Hopefully, in the next few generations of workers, we'll see some majors coming along, just like the uh, Fidole species, but uh, they'll look a bit different. Um, probably more similar to the queen of this species. That's good to see that they uh, moved out of the uh, art world and into the formicarium. Makes it much nicer to look at. And uh, and as you can see, their brood pile is coming along nicely. I would guess about six or seven pupae um, getting nearly, getting ready to hatch into the next generation of workers. So that'll be awesome. I don't think any mages will come in this generation, but maybe the next one. Hopefully. Here is another one of my Mimesia Tepera. Um And as you can see, she's got a pupae as well. So hopefully we might even have two colonies of uh, Mimesia Tepera. Um What's really strange about this one is she only laid this egg like a couple months ago. And uh, she had a whole batch of brood and then she ate all but one and this last one turned into a pupae while the other Mimesia tepera species I showed you 
Um, it's taken, I believe, two years to get to this stage. She repetitively ate her brood, laid some more, ate it again, while this one, I believe, has only did it once. In, and I only caught this one last year because it is New Year's Day today. So that's awesome to see how quick this one's grown. Hopefully, I wish they all did it, but uh, I guess it's the luck of the draw. Alright, next I might show you my Colobopsis gasseri colony. Here's a colony that's a bit more on the uh, uncommon side. Um, this is Colobopsis gasseri. Um, a wood dwelling species um, and is one of my oldest colonies I believe was second or third queen I ever caught so I've had her for a fair while now the interesting thing about this colony that's happening right now is check out their brood can you see how big they are those pupae look double the size of the workers almost rivaling the queen I'm really confused if these are mages or maybe this is just how big this species grows and now these are elates ready to fly. I don't really know. I'm a bit stumped on this one because you can see well, that pupae especially, it's a good example, how similar they look to the queen. Um, I'm hoping they're just mages. Um, That'll be a really cool addition. Um, but they're a cool colony anyway. Uh, you can see there's a pile of really small larvae. That worker's just tending to them there. Yeah, so I guess um, I'll keep you guys updated. I believe these will be uh, eclosing. That means uh, hatching in layman's terms. Um, any week now, any day really. So I'll uh, keep you updated on that. Right here, I'd like to show you one of the uh, experiments that I've been doing. I have uh, been propagating moss. Um, you can see this little container is filled um, with, um, I believe, one or two species of moss. Um, I'm not really sure how to tell the difference. They all look pretty similar to me, really. Um, but I've been uh, doing this, and I'll eventually take some of this out and uh, put it in a terrarium or there's really a whole bunch of things you can do with moss it's just in like a Chinese takeaway container it's like super easy to do you just put a bit of dirt a drainage layer make it really moist and uh, collect some moss because right now outside all the moss is either dead or just completely gone because it's uh, so dry right now in uh, South Australia at least um, especially around this time of year when it's 25, 35, getting up to 40 degrees, um, yeah, the moss really can't survive, so this is pretty much the only way to uh, get some moss through summer. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just show you this every once in a while. You, got, you guys will see the uh, progression that it will do throughout the weeks and months. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd, it's a bit random, but... Okay, on to the final thing I'd like to show you. Last off, I'd like to show you this Polyrachis de Melli colony. They're sitting around 13 workers, and uh, you can see the queen in the middle there. And um, you can also see in the background a whole heap of pupae, and even big larvae as well. So this colony will be getting over well, well over 20 workers there. I've even added in another test tube so that they can expand into it when they need. But, um, it's not so often you'll see a uh, large polyrachis colony, and I find them really impressive when you do. They've definitely got some of uh, the best colours in the ant kingdom, really. Everything from gold to bronze to silver like these guys. They're definitely one of my favourite ant species. Also, as a side note, um, just the other day we hit 100 subscribers. How cool is that? It's really the first milestone on YouTube. So I'd like to thank you 100 people for subscribing and wanting to watch more of my videos. It really surprises me. Well, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. There's been some exciting stuff. 
If you want to see updates on these colonies, make sure you subscribe and uh, and make sure if you have any questions, comment them down below, and I will definitely answer them. I love answering questions and. Uh, just general feedback on the videos is always appreciated, so thank you guys. See ya.